Common Base Gamer. Come on, can't stay idle.
Let my name be known. feet. as a guardian undone by heat and hammer. Samson. Workshop of 
great Zinoof. Yali. Artifacts. Beyond price. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. chill runs through you. Your magic, the fire that burns within, is fading. Your magic erupts, violent and powerful, but is snuffed out by the Sousa flower, vanishing like embers in the wind. Something's wrong. Your manner betrays you. What curse has this plant wrought? Then I shall make up for your shortcomings, as I have all along. Sarcasm. Magnificent. Now come, and be heedful. The shadows are watching. in my back. Traps, please. That's curious.
tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. I see it. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food. Not food. Friend. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Were I so lucky? I've no use for the Absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only, gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold, and the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold, we check brand, good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. A serenade to my ears and a boon to my belly. We've a bargain, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises, and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. Hmm, what's that? Come on to it, Inigra Mortal! The tiefling's corpse stirs with the spell. You realize the tiefling's body has been torn open by huge hands. Ogres, hungry, bloodied, screams. El Torel, Zoro. Warriors, gold, skin, silver blades. Quick afoot, this one, to avoid Gith Yankee hunters.
seems simple enough. Great sword, dagger, or sickle. The roaring furnace awaits an offering. A candy sweet scent wafts forth. The Sousa bark infuses the weapon from within the flames. The flames sputter away. The dagger is yours for the taking. vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. expecting more of you. Where's Gek? Who are you? All right, all right. No reason to get your tongue in a twist. Well, come on. Let's get you to shore. You'll need to report to the sergeant. The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'm heading back with the drow. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk.
welcoming party. You shithead! Time you showed up! We got trouble! Spit it out! Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick! Drugno! The twat soul caused a rockfall! Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger! You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Who's the hoon? Friend of Nears? Or you plow and drow now? Pity for you. A good plow might dislodge that stick from your... Oh. You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh. I'll be... You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. anything but what was this for come into her shadow let all that is past be forgotten dead drow publicly displayed the way they are sending a message Corvosus in lingua morta The corpse regards you lifelessly. Dwerga cultist. True soul's command. Last light. A safe haven. In shadows. The hum. Harper scout. Threat to Baldur's Gate. Jahira's orders. Jahira? Can't say I know the name. God! Interrogate! I'm... The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions.
Unless you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside, I suggest you bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding. These trash don't have nothing on them but rocks. Rocks. You spot a shiny trinket on one of the corpses. Quit sniffing around. You're starting to get on my nerves. Nerves? What's in here? And drink freely, for the lady doth come. Time to press ahead. Oh, the scraps of a nightfall feast. To break bread in Shah's name, then spill blood in her name. A sacred rite. That's curious. Curious. That stone there has been pried loose. Not reaction. No time to rest. <laughs> At the ready. What's it? Prime spot for an ambush. I 
on the move. Go from here. No failure. Well, some rests better than none. A little souvenir. Rope and gear. Someone was feeling adventurous. With haste. It's been a long day. Better stop to rest soon. What's hiding here? delay. Swear to Iron Hand. One more step and a blow is to chunks. <laughs> <laughs> 
An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder, but the scent is acrid, as if contaminated somehow. Or much, much more concentrated. Easy now. Let's not do anything hilarious. Shut your mouth, Hoon, or I'll shut you down. Damn right, Fecker. Now shut your face before I melt it clean off. I know what you are. One of Nia's cult goons. Sailed right in. Better to die in this shit eat than rot in Moonrise. You want me? Come get me! Not a true soul. And I'm... I'm supposed to believe that. Shit. I can't do it. Go on. Drag me to Moonrise. I'll make you cult nutters suffer. You want to barter with rune powder? Look, you have no idea what you're dealing with. Any true Iron Hand would trade their life for a grain of this stuff. They'll spare you a vial. I go where there's shit to stir, and there's no shortage of options. I'm getting gone. You ought to do the same. Anything of use?
You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. That artifact is an heirloom of my people. Likely she spilled Githyanki blood in order to steal it. This cannot stand. Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. Remove yourself if you are so easily offended. This is not your concern. Nonsense. You're just finally showing us what you really are. A reaver to the bone. Spare your indignity. Every word that spills from your mouth is worth less than the last. Incorrect. Judicious bloodletting settles feuds and roots out the weak, the deceitful. Do you hear this, tribe? Our lives are at stake and she wants us to turn on each other. No others. Just you and me. Lozelle thinks I have something important to her people. She's deluded, clear. Lies! She carries an heirloom of my people. I must know why. The bad blood must be purged. A jewel come first light. You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? I love it. Get some rest, Lazelle. You'll need it. You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward! If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance.
So, have we buried the hatchet, Lazel? No. Why would I bury a weapon? Is it broken? It's a metaphor. I do not know your metaphor. But if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. How peculiar. Smooth face. Cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. What luck. Look here, Hoon. I seek fresh eyes. Care to lend yours to a weary mason? Ease your suspicions. I've got no mind for slaving. My passion is stone, and my god is the chisel. But these learned eyes reach their limits, and so I must humbly request yours. The rock, the rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look, tell me what you see, and be thorough. Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor, many split cleanly in two, yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. What do you think? The statues meander in curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. Two styles, two eras. The statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress. Anything standing out? Incredible. An entire history risen from dirt and debris. Picture it, an ancient city, hewn from the stone by disciples of Shah, later abandoned. Untold centuries later, a new tribe revives it. Fresh walls, fresh sculptures, until a great hell beast charges through, toppling the walls and crushing the people. Oh, that explains the infernal plate I found. Perhaps you might have use of it. But my work has only begun. There is more still to find. I must get to it. Well, let's see what you've got. That's all then. Construct. That bears investigating. <laughs> <laughs> 